It is Gladiators of the Cage, and the next battle is between Jason Willett and Mike Wilkins. It is our best of chiropractic bout of the night, and here comes Mike Wilkins out of Braddock Hills, Pennsylvania. Trains with Renzo Gracie here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, we got uh, Mike Wilkins. He's a local wrestling coach, a lot of wrestling experience. Training with Warren Stout out of the Henzo Gracie Academy. Warren Stout's a black belt under Henzo Gracie, which is one of the true pioneers of the sport. He recently got his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu purple belt. I've seen him compete at the, the Nogi Pan Ams. Had a couple, he had a couple wins there. You know, he's, he's fought in Costa Rica. A lot of experience fighting right out of here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Legendary Enzo Gracie carrying the Gracie name. Anytime you get to represent the Gracie name in a, in a cage, there's a certain amount of honor to that, for sure. Look at Mike Wilkins as he gets ready. And he's up in the cage. Mike Wilkins will take a couple of laps inside the fencing. Here comes Jason Willett to the sound of the Marine Corps hymn. Transit Team AMS, he is from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. His last time out, Jason Willett, he really showed me something. Uh, Cody and I were calling the fights that night and uh, Jason was facing a big, tough, strong guy, very athletic, uh, reminded me of like, um, well, can't think of his name, but he reminded me of somebody. <laughs> um, Melvin Gillard, <laughs> he reminded me of Melvin Gillard and Jason Willett, Willett uh, handled this business. All right, let's take a look at our Festa chiropractic matchup here tonight. Willett, five feet, eight inches tall. 155 pounds, a pro record of three wins and one defeat and a reach of 68 inches. Wilkins comes in five feet 11, so he'll have a three inch height advantage, 155 pounds. He's two and one and has a 70 inch reach. Our best of chiropractic matchup here tonight. Will has had nine amateur bouts prior to turning pro. He's fought a lot of guys in the area. Wilkins has fought a Let's go to the ring. Here's Dan Bogan once again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another professional fight calling for three rounds with a five minute time limit. Fighting out of the blue corner with a record of two wins, one loss. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. He fights out of the Henzo Gracie Pittsburgh Club. Welcome from Braddock Hills, Pennsylvania, Mike Wilkins. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner with a record of three and one. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. He weighs in at 154 and one half pounds. Fighting from Team AMS, he's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Welcome, Jason the Whip Willett! Mike Wilkins, Jason Willett. This bout brought to you by Festa Chiropractic. Right, getting back to my earlier point, Wilkins has fought a who's who of local fighters. Josh Baker, Shane Shinaki, all at the amateur level. Both guys have had good success in the professional ranks. And both of them are coming right here out of Pittsburgh. Chip Snyder is the referee as the fighter's ready to go. Will and it, the attack is on. Will it comes out fast, firing. Michael Wilkins, interestingly, his favorite fighter, he said, is Frankie Edgar. Uh, Frankie Edgar is known for coming back, making big comebacks. Guys uh, steamrolling him for a round or two, and then he makes a big comeback. So we'll see if that's uh, how things play out here. Well, Frankie Edgar's a brown belt under Henzo Gracie and also a wrestler. So it makes sense that, that Wilkins' favorite fighter is you know, someone that, that is a similar style as himself. Go, 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 go. 
Yeah, especially representing the Henzo Gracie name. It didn't take Wilkins long to, to establish ground control over Willett, getting the fight down to the ground. Now, since these are professional fights, we can see punches to the face on the ground, as well as up kicks to the face by the ground opponent. I don't think that shot really landed flush. It just kind of grazed a uh, big shot from Wilkins coming down uh, to Willett, who's on his back. I don't think um, Willett was phased by that at all. We'll see if Wilkins can mount some more ground and pound here. Yeah, Willett really needs to watch out for these big punches from, from Wilkins, who's maintaining a real good upright posture. It's hard for the bottom guy to be offensive at all when your opponent is very upright. And there he goes again, just working on it. Willett keeps opening his guard. Uh, makes it a little bit easier for Wilkins to rain those punches down. He's trying to escape his hips out to make an angle, but Wilkins is really staying square to, to Willett on the bottom. His corner's calling for the up kick, but, but Wilkins knows it's coming and is staying real high to, to watch out for it. A lot of times you'll see guys in this situation, they, they try to grab those ankles, pull them out, and throw them to the side so that they can land a shot. It's very difficult to come shooting down through the center when a guy's kicking up at you. You gotta get those legs to the side. Wilkins is moving into half guard on top, pushing away from the cage so that Willett can't use it to his advantage. Look for him to uh, use his right knee to free his left knee and pass to a dominant position. I still find that fascinating. I, I, I used to love to watch Randy Couture and guys like that. They would, they would take guys over to the cage specifically uh, to try to beat them up there. Guys didn't know how to walk up the cage. It just goes to show how the sport always evolves. It keeps evolving and now guys are trying to take them away from the cage. 2.20 left here in round one. Wilkins our moving. Fiesta, our Festa chiropractic round clock. Wilkins quickly moved to knee on belly, landed a couple strikes. It created a scramble, and Willett was able to get back to a, a neutral position of half guard. Nice short shot by Wilkins on the top. See, when a guy's on top, if you posture up, swing out wide, you really show the guy on the bottom where the punch is coming from. If you can keep those shots short on the bottom, really difficult for your opponent on the bottom to see where they're coming. Now, while Willard is mounted, bad spot for him. Yeah, Wilkins passed straight from half guard to mount. He pushed his knee through, went right to mount. His, Big his elbow. And some strikes and elbows. Willard doesn't really have much of an answer right now other than cover up. He's got to start moving, otherwise Chip Snyder's going to hop in. Chip Snyder's training down on yeah, yeah, referee's taking a hard look here. Wilkins is probably wondering what he's got to do to get it stopped. Willett, it's probably not even that he's that hurt. He just doesn't just, have an answer. It's very tough to get out of this position. And Chip Snyder calls a halt to the bout. Excellent showing by Mike Wilkins. Taking the fight down to the ground, using his Henzo Gracie jiu-jitsu skills. His wrestling top control, passing the mount and getting the finish. Looked like when he started shortening up his punches on the ground is when he started having more success. Just nothing the opponent could do. Let's take another look at the raining down of punches here. Willett doesn't really have an answer here. He's just kind of covering up, hoping for the best. He needed to, to start hip escaping, trying to retrap one of those legs, but Wilkins was just raining down blows. Not a lot of punches landing clean, but obviously some of them are getting through, and Chip Snyder had seen enough. This is the most punching we've seen tonight here in Gladiators of the Cage. Yeah, I believe that's the first uh, TKO finish due to strikes uh, of the evening. And that's the big difference between the professionals and the amateurs. We saw a lot of guys get to mount in the amateur fights, but they weren't allowed to do that because they didn't have enough experience. Let's go to our ring announcer, Dan Bogan. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by technical knockout at three minutes, 52 seconds of the first round, fighting out of the blue corner, Mike Wilkins! tonight. How are you feeling right now?
now? I, I feel really good. I'm glad to get in and get out. Awesome. Now, being from a BJJ school, was yeah. that something you wanted to do? Come out, take it to the ground? Yeah, I like to fight on the ground. Um, it's where I feel most comfortable. It's where I get most of my training. Uh, last Tuesday, I just got my purple belt. Congratulations on that. This purple belt, it's real old because it means a lot to me because it was my coach's purple belt when he first got his purple belt in 2004. He can give a million purple belts, but he only has one of these to give. So I like to come out here and uh, show our style of jujitsu. Fantastic job. We cannot wait to have you back in here. You're three and one now as a professional. Thank you so much. Anyone you want to thank? I want to thank the women's number one flyweight for uh, interviewing me. And I want to thank my whole team, my boys down here, my whole family, everyone who bought a ticket off me, making me that money, baby. Hey, Wilkins Electric, what's up? Stout Training Pittsburgh. Awesome job. Thank you so much, Chris. Back to you. Oh, uh, Jessica, he's showing you a little love out there. Our festive chiropractic about the winner. Mike Wilkins, and we've got a lot more to come. Stay with us, Gladiators of the Cage, Mazana and Yeager next.